Hey everyone, it's Nate. Before we start this video, I also just want to apologize for my voice. I'm a little sick and I'm just working on getting better and um, I hope it doesn't become too distracting for the uh, next couple minutes that we uh, spend talking about this. So let's get to it. Let's talk about Discover My Body. Discover My Body is quite the experience. In this short 10 minute game, you'll definitely begin to feel unsettled. The game takes place in 2040, where human beings are looking for strange solutions in hopes of finding connection and community. The gravitation towards religion as communities have dwindled down and now people are tapping into technology and science in hopes of finding emotional connections. A newer technology is a lab synthesized fungi and is known to be psychically powerful. The player character takes the role as a medical student at a local university where conducting a study to take a look at the human's response to the fungi. You are introduced to the test subject and he seems delighted to be able to help out in the study. He refers to you as the bright new student that Dr. Morrison was talking about at some point. He reveals that he has assisted in numerous flowerings and says that you're in for a treat. He's just so chipper about the project and seems like someone who's deeply dedicated to science and discovery. You use a device called the Icon to scan the subject's body. When scanning, you'll find info points that are more or less points of interest. You can view the subject in three different ways, topical, skeletal, and nervous. I can't help but feel like I've heard the scanning sound before, but I can't quite place my finger on it. You scan around his flesh and eventually find the injection site and there's a weird face on it? The test subject tells us that Dr. Morrison injected a bone deep needle to his right shin. He mentions that what he injected was worth its weight in gold and confirms that it's a successful PTB flowering. He goes on to ask, what's that? It looks like a face and talks about how the ptb organism is a psychical organism its physical form draws from a shared pool of each flowered member's traumas fears and dreams the subject recognizes the face on his shin to be his mother's face and goes on about how he misses his mom the nonchalant and chipper tone of the subject's dialogue makes this part so unsettling to me how would you feel if you saw a family member's face on your shin let alone a dead family member you scan his bones and it turns out that the bones on his right leg are rotting. His nonchalant dialogue carries on without fail. Soft bones are needed for the PTB to properly be flowered. The human body was never intended to be a vessel for this fungi. He goes on to say that the subject is twisted around physically and psychically. After this morbid and mind-breaking conversation, the subject then asks if we are getting credit for this exam and asks us to continue. Again, another part of his uh, nonchalant attitude. Now comes the scan of the subject's nerves. Scanning the subject's brain reveals that he had something called a primordial inhibitor implanted into his brain. Now if you're like me, I had no idea what that meant. Primordial means in a state or quality of basic and fundamental, and an inhibitor is a substance that slows down or prevents a particular chemical reaction or a process. It's usually part of a particular reactant, catalyst, or enzyme. So that would mean that the subject had willingly revert his brain back to a primal state. It's kind of like rewetting clay to reform it into something completely different. He also confirms that his body and mind won't have an existential crisis in handling this change. This might be why he's so chipper and nonchalant. He tells us that people who have flowered have no sense of time. If we as humans tried to grasp that concept, it would drive ourselves insane. The subject goes on to start the flowering process. He asks the player for their wallet to bite down on, which makes sense. The man's body is contorting. The subject screams, and in the sound bite, to me it kind of sounds like he's burning and kind of like evaporating. You hear like some sort of steam or something happening to his body. He finally talks in a low tone, mentioning the pain, saying that he bit down too hard and broke a couple of his teeth. He talks about how his body has gone through amazing and yet terrible growth simultaneously. He pauses for a minute and calmly apologizes for being quiet. He says that he just experienced an ego death, meaning literally a complete loss of subjective self-identity. That immediately brought chills to me. He goes on to say that he can feel his thoughts getting mixed in with the rest of the fungi. To find that both of his hands have fallen off of his body, and he goes on to make a joke about how he'll never get to play the violin. His skeleton is developed bone growth and is as soft as sponge cakes. His bones are turning into thin psychic receptors. He laughs off the fact that his bones are poking out of his body. Scanning the nervous system reveals that his body has formed new minds inside of him. His mind has been added to the group mind. His body has now become a host for other flowering minds as well. There are memories that he's recalling that are not his own memories. He tries to describe the feeling but has trouble using the word I anymore as his body is becoming mixed in with all the others like himself. It is rapidly becoming unsettling as he calmly explains that he is not just one being anymore. As mentioned before, he also elaborates and says that he's feeling infinite pleasure and pain at the same time. The game ends as the flowering completes and the subject yells, I am so happy over and over. The tone and atmosphere of this game is something truly chilling and offers insight on in how far people could be willing to go in order to feel something again. This subject experienced the flowering process 
this firsthand, and he was still willing to put his body into this grotesque mind-breaking process just to get that same feeling. To me, the part that is so jarring is the melatonin that the subject has despite knowing how gruesome the entire process is. When the subject is becoming unrecognizable and contemplating even referring to themselves as I, is the part that really puts a pit into my stomach. It kind of reminded me of Earthbound when referring to Gygus, how in his attack you can't comprehend his true form, and Porky kind of mentioning that his mind is being destroyed by his own power. There are also the similarities of Gygus saying I'm so happy and it hurts and I'm so sad. There's something that's chilling about not knowing what exactly you're seeing and comprehending, and I think that the body horror of this game did an excellent job at conveying something so unknown. I'd love to see this concept elaborated on. I'd love to see the subject's previous experiences, maybe a failed flowering process, how the first flowering came to be, and its discovery. I love the assumptions in these kinds of concepts such as the primordial inhibitor. Please play the game by Yames on itch.io. I'll be including a link in the description below. It, it's, it's free after all. Please also subscribe or leave a comment on your thoughts about this game. Follow me on Twitch and Twitter at What's Up Nate. Check out my podcast, The Sleepy Gamer Podcast, on Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, and Spotify. That's all I've got for today, and remember, keep making time for games. See you around.